Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank, and today I'm playing some more Hogwarts Legacy on PC. Let's go ahead and hop in. Come on in. Healing potions are the speciality here, should you need any. Okay. So let's check out our quest log. We have the poached egg that we could do. Talk to Poppy and Hogsmeade Town Circle. Um, I guess that would be the closest thing. Uh, it's all gobbledygook. I think we'll go ahead and do this one. Since she should be here, nearby. Oh, this way actually. Okay. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in Plimpies. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right. I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No. It belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more Aww. thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. Something's was clever about how to stay on foot and can't fly. I'll avoid using our brooms. There she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Rebellion. Here. 
For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. Hmm. I wonder if we fight. If it makes a problem. Where are you, Smoothie? Thought you were joining us in Borneo. I know you have your hopes about the fighting ring that the true galleons are in Acromantulas. You can believe how much Violet and I made a few days ago. Not to mention Borneo's not half bad to look at. Anyway, we'll be moving on soon. Egypt, perhaps. It's such a relief not to be weighed down anymore. See you soon, Angus. How charming. Keep in touch with each other. Nope. again. She's breathtaking. From a distance. This one has to take out the murder dogs after all. Okay. Revelio. I thought for sure we would be able to make it past them without uh, getting caught. Oh well. Repair. Fantastic. I think that probably would have been heard by the wolves anyways. What I wouldn't give to be a demogeist right now. Don't know if this makes any difference, but we'll go with it just in case. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon. I don't imagine the Pope has fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. Oh man, this is getting suspenseful. Don't have to use a bunch of Crucio and Imperio on the dragon. Watch your step. Boop. Uh oh, the birds are on your way. Or just raring for a fight. Oh. Here's a treasure. Revenue. Plum sorcerer hat. Uh 
Oh. I don't know if this is a safe way or not. Good thinking, but she'd still be able to smell you. Run straight here. Not a warm welcome. It's a little too warm, if you ask me. Okay. There you go. I don't suppose you listen to reason. I'd normally try, but we're well past that. Hmm. Okay. Looks like it's the same game, so. Looks like there's another wall over there. If we can get that, we can get the Okay, looks like there's one more little embankment I can use. Oh, shoot. Okay, let's see. So you keep going this way. There we go. Why is every bridge here broken? Repair her. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. was brilliant and did you see how clever she left us perfectly unharmed creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize that's what gran always says the important thing is that we survived it and we returned her egg thank you for doing this with me wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again I was hoping to look around for a moment, if you don't mind. Take it all in. I suppose we could catch our breath. 
I wonder how long she lived here, or where she'll go now. Okay, I guess I'll just take a quick look. Revelio. I don't think there is anything, but just in case. Hmm. Just hang on there a second or two, but I didn't really notice anything as it's going through. All right, let's just go ahead and go. I can't believe any of what just happened. Still taking it all in. No, I think I'm ready to leave if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True, true. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? Those that go to Azkaban never had a chance in the first place. Did she just disapparate on me? What? That was weird. Um. You see, no, not showing on the quest yet. I thought for sure we would just know right away what's going on. Let me double check Hogwarts, see what's up over here. Mm -hmm. This Tangled Web one. I guess we'll go ahead and check it out while we're here. I can't remember. I had a couple days or couldn't stream, so I can't remember if this was on last stream or not, since it was three or four days ago. But let's see, is it going to go left? No, it's going to go right. I always forget the entrance to the three room six is where it's at. Oh, I do hope Mary and her neighbors are- Excuse me, sir. Are you all right? Just barely. But I don't want to trouble a student with my woes. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm not so sure. Name's Crispin Dunn, by the way. I trade in the surrounding hamlets. Do the most business in Aronshire. A lovely little hamlet. Just stunning gardens. Just the other day, the Daily Prophet ran an article on its scenic hedgerows. Actually, before I go on, I should ask. Are you afraid of spiders? Spiders don't bother me at all. You'd be impressed by how many I've dispatched lately. Lucky you. The hamlet's overrun with the vile things, and they're acting abnormally aggressively. I'm concerned about my customers, of course, but it appears that most of the hamlet's residents fled to safety. It's my friend Mary I worry about. I haven't heard from her, and I fear she's trapped in her cottage. Understandable. But why don't you check on her yourself? I would, but I have a crippling fear of the eight-legged beasts, which I, unlike you, seem incapable of conquering. I don't know what to do. Can you think of anyone who can help Mary? Why are there so many spiders in Aronshire all of a sudden? I honestly don't know. I've never seen so many spiders in all of my life. It's almost as if someone's breeding them. They've trapped the entire hamlet in webs. I was lucky to escape at all. Mary always has a way with these beasts. It's very concerning not to hear from her. Why is it you can't conquer your fear of spiders? When I was a small child, I was being tormented and chased by a group of local bullies and slid into the hollow of a tree to hide. Within moments, spiders were crawling over every inch of my body. Seemed I'd stumbled on a nest. 
I couldn't move, paralyzed by fear of the spiders and an equally profound fear of the wizards I knew were just outside the tree. I was there for what seemed hours. I can feel their legs on me now just talking about it. Ugh. Why didn't you ask the Ministry for help? I did. Reached out to anyone who would listen. Tribe Minister Spout old Spavin himself. But evidently they have their hands full with who knows what else. It seems this little hamlet has to fend for itself. I'll try my very best, Mr. Dunn. Please do. If you can think of anyone that may be brave enough to help, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. They'll find Aronshire southeast of Hogsmeade, just below the train station. Okay. Let's see. Check on Mary. Here we go. Another great reason to have so many of the uh, fast travel locations. This must be Aronshire. I'd best keep an eye out for spiders. Oh, here we go. Spider time. Oh, would you look at that? Um, it's spider time. Do that. Also, torture. <laughs> Alright, I think it might have a different one. Uh, zip, zap this one. We'll turn them into a double bug. <laughs> um, Explodey. You're even more aggressive than I'd expected. I don't know, these are pretty Good nasty on me. Oh, almost thought that one hit me. I almost lost my combo up here. Whew, I almost got hit. Surely that's the last of them. Okay. Assassin. Oh, pleasure to see you again. Can't tell you how happy my lost daughter was to get that watch. Okay. Now it's time to find Mary. Oh no. This must be Mary. Poor woman. Oh no. H had delivered a spider venom as requested. Prompt payment is now to you. New cluster of spider links from seller workshop have almost hatched. I can provide more venom soon. Once, of course, I've been compensated for the last delivery. Mary Portman. If Mary was breeding these things in her cellar, that means there are more underground. I'll need to destroy every last spider in that cellar if this is to end. Revelio. Oh. It's pretty dark, yo. Um, I guess it's gotta be right outside, and this blue thing over to the left. Storm doors. Can we exploit it? Oh, we just gotta enter. Okay. This is gonna be a cathedral labyrinth. Revelio. If this is where Mary bred the spiders, they're not here now. I wouldn't be so certain about that, buddy. It's definitely on the own fancy cellars, so they've got a lot more space than you think. Uh, let's see. A ladder. Not sure I want to know where this leads. Well, this is some dramatic music. Not sure I've had it this dramatic. This isn't a good sign. These spiders have gone somewhere. Revelio. This is really dramatic. Okay. I'd best be ready for whatever I may find down there. 
Oops. Come on up. I'm hearing some water phone too, you know. Spent. Head sacks. I need to find and destroy all of these before the situation gets even worse. Revelio. Ah. Confringo. That's one egg sack destroyed. I should get. This is definitely going to angry parents. How about these? I just seeing the basic spell cast system. Having fun, bending things. Uh oh. That must be over there. Lost my combo. Cursed fiends. Protego! Confringo! Rebellion! Oh no, where are the others? Hmm. I see some treasures, so I don't want to leave those behind. If we can reach them. I gotta say, there's something about using the uh, unforgivable curses. It's just so fun. Like, like they've always been over the top and just, you know, slightly comical in that regard to me. I hate to think that they see me, but I don't see them. <laughs> I gotta say, the quest designers for this one, uh, I feel like pick some pretty Rebellion. good choice dialogue and suspenseful music and good level of design. Like, I I don't know, maybe it was just it's now getting to the level of advanced Rebellion. stuff that uh, it just hits different, but I really like this song. Um, Appreciate this one. Bombarda. Rebellion. Imperial. Crucial. Confringo. Bombarda. There we go. Alrighty. Rebellion. Let's see, time to take out these exiles. Half finished, but I need to destroy all of the exiles. Rebellion. All right. Like we will be heading back the way we came, perhaps. I gotta say, this is a really interesting level layout. Oops. Bombarda. Let's see. Rebellion. We got in here somehow. How did we get in here? Um. Myself spun around, I feel like. I don't know what to do. What to do. This is where we just got our treasure. Oh my. Things looking the same. Um, ah, here we go. That's what I messed up. I didn't turn. There we go. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, now I think we need to go Good this way. Up. Find the others. This is a Rebellion. part that I really delved into much. There's a couple of those egg sacks right up here. Oh, there's Kai Tech. Come on, strong guy. Let me take out any others. Confringo. Okay. K 
can't get past that one. Let's try hitting it this way. Pretty sure this is a new path. Yep. Bombarda. Oh jeez. I had to hurt. <laughs> Wonder if I can actually transform it. Nope. Oh, I got rid of it too. Rebellion. Wanna well, guess that. Nope, oh, can't transform it. That would have been funny. That's the last of the spider sacks. Finally found the perfect place to breed my spider colony and it was quite literally under my nose the whole time. My cellar. Why didn't I think of this before? Why hasn't anyone for that matter? The spiders are growing big and strong and the silk they produce will make me a fortune. I'll have wealth at last. No more scrimping on frocks when I'm in town. It will be marvelous. I suppose I know what happened to Mary Portman now. She was breeding the spiders. Revelio. Yeah, that's uh... I think it's a safe bet. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's the guy that we aggroed earlier. There we go. I think you have to do an unforgivable on him. Unforgivable. All right. Here comes the last fight. So yeah. Alright. Here's our source of the eggs. Wait, hold on. I think we got a treasure we saw it picked up over here. It's a wig and weld, right? Yep, okay. I thought I remembered it being so. All right. That might be fun. Let's do a Thunder Brew. That'd be fun. I'm not sure how much is left, but we'll see. Revelio. Guessing we'll have a fight with like a couple of the matriarchs or something like something that's usually pretty hard. We'll just make it kind of a comical thing. We'll just see how fast we oh, can eliminate wait. everything. That's the last one. She's Defeat angry. the insatiable spider. Alright, well we'll let him at least get deployed a little bit here. We'll just uh, start off with the Thunder Brew. And then... How about some of this? And how about some of this? And let's see one of these. Imperial. And those. Course. And those. And how about we just do this for a little bit? And then how about we do some screaming? And how about uh I have nightmares for the rest of my oh, life that's after that. <laughs> okay. Revelio. Oh man. That was funny. I didn't even get to do all my tricks. Alright. Oh, that was fun. I'm not always into power tripping like that, just being out leveled, you know, compared to the enemies, but Every now and then it is just fun to roll in there and just 
throwing a bunch of stuff and just don't even think about strategy. Just throw everything you got. <laughs> Rebellion. Oh, that was fun. Okay. Do do do. I'm assuming I can't warp out of here. There we go. Okay. Back over to Hawksmeade. Mr. Dunn, I have some news. Thank Merlin, about my sweet friend Mary. I'm so sorry, Mr. Dunn. She was an innocent victim. Poor Mary, fighting for the Hamlet to the bitter end, no doubt. A noble sacrifice. She truly was a remarkable woman, remarkable. She didn't deserve this, few do. I am sorry about your friend. You'll be relieved to know that I cleared out the spiders. It's safe to return now. You? You cleared out the spiders? I can't believe it, but I'm certainly relieved. I imagine the first order of business will be to help the amulet rebuild. I suppose I have nothing to fear from dead spiders. That's the spirit. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you again for all you've done. I shall keep you apprised of the Hamlet's rebuilding. Glad I could be of help, and I look forward to visiting your shop the next time I'm in Aronshire. To dearly departed Mary. Okay, we got the Sinister Oddities shelf as a reward. That's cool. Well, that was another dark story. These are uh, pretty wild and sad. Let's go to the room of requirement, hang out for a minute. Um, now we should have, I think, two or three items that need identifying. So let's go check it out. Pretty sure I had a face item and maybe a scarf or something. We'll get some of things harvested as well. Fact, we'll do that first. It's assumed quite a bit during that uh, little boss fight with the spiders. Oh, I didn't use any of my cabbages. My cabbages. I can only use one fly trap, yeah. Okay. And. Let's see if we want to brew anything. Could use an endurance or two. Station. 
and time to identify. All right, let's see. Gold dragon eye and spectacles. Is that the only thing? This one we had another piece or two. Let's check out our gear and see what we have. Brown leather gloves. They're a level higher too and still a drop off on the stats. Crazy. I don't think I... Have I leveled up enough to get... There is something new. Let's see. Ooh. He made beneath these uh, curious silver spectacles. Um, that's gotta be it. Let's see, Nandi, 53, the golden dragon eyed spectacles. Um, well, I mean, yeah, I need to upgrade these because they're all will be plus four. So well, that's fantastic. So I do indeed have something new to put on. Okay. Um, can't be said for headwear or neckwear. What about cloaks and robes? Nope. And probably the same for school uniform. Okay, well, let's get this uh, face wear piece upgraded and we will swap it out and probably make it visible again. But um, yeah, let's go here. All right. We just gotta get out of that graph horn horn. Wonder how much longer until we uh, can go get a graph horn. Well, let's see about equipping this now. And we'll go ahead and put it on. That looks pretty wild. Whoa. Um, that's pretty cool how it's rendering like actually 3D. Um, it's funny too because it shows it on the other side too. <laughs> I like it, but oh man. I think actually I'll keep it on for at least a scene or two and then maybe we'll make it invisible again. <laughs> oh man. It's too good. Wonder if there's a uh, a hat that might make it funny. Oh man, I think I think really anything with it is pretty funny. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll do it for at least a little while. Here we go. Okay, I think it reminds me of uh, the character. Oh man, the one from um, a Christmas story. One that they meet in the line waiting for Santa Claus. Oh man. Inventory. Put your letter. Mary's travel page and Mary's note. Okay. Do you have a talent to spend? I'm just going to go and clear up the collections while we're looking. Okay, there's one. We had another new sweater? Oh, the insatiable. Okay. I wonder if that was the most powerful I've fought. Period. As far as spiders go. I, I really did like the um, level design today. Like, I really was um, kind of impressed, you know? Like, the dragon experience was legitimately um, cool. Ah, there we go. The sensor oddity shelf. I might actually try that out in the room requirement. Okay. So if I get this and we go up to level 40, which I'm kind of doubting I'll reach before I beat the game because I'm feeling like just kind of focusing on main quests right now. Um, it may be coming back doing side stuff later, but I don't know. I'm kind of just enjoying getting through it at this point, doing 
quest only. So that means we have seven points left to earn, so I can spend like eight, I think. It's either seven or eight. I still don't think I really care about making any of the plant stuff for the pushing stronger right now. Um, for dark arts. I mean, that might be pretty cool and powerful, but... I mean, that might be nice as well. Hmm. So it's a blast of mastery effect. Damaging shockwave. Digital blast. That is pretty cool. Okay. Perfect Protego, Damaging Blast. Stupefy. Don't need to worry about the potions. Yeah, if I were to do things different, I think I would have taken either the Wig and Wilds. And, you know, honestly, I might have even taken one less spell knowledge just to have uh, points for some of these other things. And I just don't Protego a whole lot. I just kind of dodge. It's like to me, it's almost a little bit redundant. Um, so I feel like, you know, you can min max a few things for willing to give up things that are kind of optional. Like if you, instead of putting stuff into Protego, you instead put it into everything else, you could just be like casting spells like crazy and maybe using a Durus potion or something to beef up your defense just in case you get sloppy but at least on medium difficulty I don't know this doesn't feel too bad um let's see slowing curse that's so momentum Crucio I have a feeling like that might be really nice um also thinking one of these might be a good one. I'm gonna make Bombarda just as crazy as it can be. Because it is a ridiculous spell, so that's what I wanna do. I think that sounds to me like what will be the most fun going forward. Okay. Well, let's see. Back in our uh, room requirement. Let's see about. It was something I just wanted to try. It was that oddities shelf. I'm trying to remember what it was called. Hmm. I can't remember. We'll see here. Carved book sand. Nope. I guess it's in this one. Hey, here it is. The Sinister Oddities, okay. Oh, you have to put it on a shelf, okay. Um, maybe I have to take it back here a bit. This is strange. Well, wait a second, I saw it give a... Um... Oh wait, there we go. Okay. Okay, when I was looking at it earlier, I was thinking it was more like a... Uh, um... Like a rack, I guess. Like a freestanding, like shelf rack. But no, I mean this makes sense. This is a little bit hard to see in the uh, card form. I actually kind of like it. I might just leave it here for now. I might move it over or something. I think it might look kind of fun with the uh, potions area. Because, you know, hate or love it. Some of these potions, you know, do involve death and, uh, you know, kind of horrific looking things, but they're part of life as well, right? So 
That's how some of these things work. Uh, let's see. The uh, animals could be harvested, but I think it will just leave them be for now. Um, what else can we do? Really digging the new glasses and our awesome little helmet. Hmm. Well, actually, I did want to see if we had anything new pop up on the map. Because I felt like there was something, there's something else that I saw previously. Okay, so that's the warp. Okay, now where is the actual quest at? It's weird, I can't actually see it. Is it actually going all the way over here? Butcher's house call. Okay. Um, let's go to the world level. I feel like there's gotta be a mission somewhere. Hmm, I think it, they would show it that previous resolution to you if there were one. Okay. Actually, let's go back to Hogsmead. Okay. Well, best I can tell. That's it. So, that leaves us with... Let's see, Poacher's house call. Talk to Poppy and find out why she left so abruptly after we return the dragon egg. And... This one. Okay. Hmm. Let's just see. Yeah. So she is over there. So this this has got to be the fastest. Okay. I think we'll go ahead and go check. It's about to take me a little bit past an hour, but that's okay. I haven't played in a few days, so let's just have fun and see where this goes. Okay, weird. Let's go back. I thought I was already tracking this. Okay, um, let's try again. Okay. Getting rusty is what happens when you don't play for a few days a couple times in a row. You're safe. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she alright? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house. Our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it. Screaming that we'd cost them everything. Oh no. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidget's feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. 
If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. Where exactly are these snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon, but the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs, they'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Okay. Maybe this is, yep. I was gonna say maybe this is where we get a pause. Okay, makes sense. Let me check my gear too. I, I was thinking I might have made a mistake when I switched out. Okay, no, I just changed the appearance. I was afraid I changed the actual setup and I messed it up. All right. Well, it was worth a giggle, but I'm ready to switch them all. Here we go. Um. Yeah, that's feeling pretty good. Now, let's go sell the few items we have, and we'll just go back to the room requirement maybe after that. Or actually, I might just end it after selling some stuff. I feel like it was a pretty good run today. The uh, level design and the music was this extra traumatic extra. Extra, extra. Here we go. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. Okie dokie. Okay, and even this. That's my previous one, yep. Wow, this is crazy. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Okay, um, well, I think that, that is probably it for today. Let me we'll check what are my quests. It's all got with the cook. Speak with Omnit and I wonder where he said it's out of curiosity. Back at Hogwarts, okay. Um, yeah, so maybe we could just, uh, in here for now, and we'll probably go straight into that quest. We'll check the, uh, map one more time when we come back in. I'm pretty sure that that main quest is the only thing I've got, um, as far as, like, something, you know, other than just, like, Merlin trials and etc. spread out throughout the map. So let's go ahead and roll credits and say thanks for watching. It's been STR Inc. Follow me on Twitch, Mastodon, and YouTube all at STR Inc. And I'll have an upload on YouTube soon. Thanks. Have a good one.